I'm about to travel on the biggest journey that I've ever been on this far. I'm currently located in Chonggu in Bali, Indonesia, and I have everything packed. Today we are heading to Java. We're gonna drive all the way, which is a bit over a three hour drive on this first section. So let's get started. Let's go. From being scared to going outside the house to driving 2000 kilometers solo on a scooter through the most densely populated island in Java, Indonesia. The journey getting here has been a long one, but this would without a doubt be one of the biggest challenges and joys in my life. And the journey that would make my 10 year old version of myself proud. We're driving on these tracks through a little forest. And this is one of those places where I don't think I ever would find unless I was actually staying at that place. Would you look at that? Just as planned. Okay guys, here we made it to one of my favorite places. So let me show you guys the place. There's definitely a lot of uh, surf activities here. You can see surfboards and stuff here and you will see exactly why. And if you're a surfer as well, then here in West Bali, look no further. You will have a beautiful place to learn how to surf without all the crowds. Okay guys, this is probably the thinnest hammock that I've ever been on. Look at this guys. <laughs> it's like any movement I do, I was like, I'm risking falling off, but that's part of the excitement. I have to say that I was excited for the food was a complete understatement. So right now uh, I've gotten the food. This is uh, one of the rats I've been looking forward to for a few months at this point. It looks beautiful and together with the ocean. Makes it an even better experience. Let's give it a taste. Mm. <laughs> just as good as I remember. My God. I've been waiting here for quite a while. Just had an amazing meal and I'm about to head the last hour to Gilmanuk, which is all the way west of Bali uh, as we're about to cross over to Java. And we are off with the last hour to drive here in Bali before we leave off to Java. Wow, look at this place, it looks so beautiful. Bye beach. And hello adventure. First time seeing drone. <laughs> Guys, just, just seeing the smile on people's faces when they've never seen the drone and they get to like try it and look what it looks like, it's, it's pretty amazing. And, and with a full belly and spirits were high, we're now doing the final hour's drive to Gilmanuk before heading to the island of Java, Indonesia. Okay guys, so I made it further west than I've ever done on a bike here and uh, this is uh, interesting. We're gonna see if we can find a place. So I found these signs right here that you can uh, buy tickets right here. So I hope this is the right one that I'm not getting scammed for, but I know the price so we're about to find out. Yeah, so they de definitely tried to scam me there. Um, first, she said 88, which is a lot. If you're doing this trip yourself, make sure to book it online and ask for a local friend with a local bank account for help. The original price is only 9,000 Indonesian rupiah, but you will end up paying closer to 40,000 if you pay at the ticket office. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. I, w I wasn't able to film that much while I was going here because it was like such a chaos and so many people. And I think I like, yeah, I didn't have much time yet to join this ferry. So here we are, guys. I made it. Look at this. I got the bike in here, should be safe. And I got like trucks and buses and like everything around me. And people have been trying to sell me coffee and everything, but I'm gonna check out what's on the boat for a little bit with the little time that we have. <laughs> this boat is old school. And I like that idea. I wish I could do that right now. Hello. <laughs> Oh, it's guys, you have no idea how freaking hot it is now. And now it's it's getting into the hot, the warm season as well. The rainy season is over. It felt like it's been forever. Yeah, I know, right? That's, that's what I feel. <sighs> we are starting to move slightly. Yes, we are going back to Java. <laughs> and with all fairs in Indonesia, they all have a dedicated pass out pit for people going on long drives, which is pretty funny to watch. Oh my god, so Bali is there and Java is there. 
and this trip is gonna take us like half an hour or something and uh, yeah we're not going fast exactly and after a long hour on the boat we finally arrive at Baniwangi harbor all the way east in java and we are ready for the next month of adventure hey guys so i went too far so right now i'm trying to find Egen base camp which is the name of the place i have no fucking clue where it is it doesn't look like it's any of these places <laughs> okay so this place was not easy to find look at this tiny gate here tiny sign but the locals here said i look confused they uh so they asked if i needed help and yes i did okay so i made it here to the egen base camp which is the name of the place um let's just have a look it's not the best but it for 80,000 uh, I couldn't book online if I would have booked online I could have gotten it for 60,000 which is uh, <laughs> insanely cheap it's like four dollars a night something like that so yeah I paid a little bit more but at the end of the day oh look at this so this is the place has a little seating area out here this is my room it is very basic has a basic fan has a Slightly dirty bed. Uh, I don't know if I should be concerned about that, but it's also like 80,000, so fuck it. <laughs> I just want to have a place to sleep. And also, we're gonna watch out to not smash my head. And we got a very basic bathroom, shower, and a tiny little kitchen area. And uh, that is it. And after a well deserved rest and a long ride, I was heading up into the mountains of Baniwangi where I would meet a good friend that was also ready for an amazing adventure. I'm here with Matt from Expat Steps. We're gonna head out to an amazing, amazing waterfall. So we're gonna have to get out. The sun is very intense. So uh, we're gonna have to get this adventure started. Matt and I were heading to one of the world's only sulfuric waterfalls. Okay, so I don't know if this is the warmest welcome I've had for, uh, from a waterfall, but I guess it's through here this barbed wire little hole right here and here we are wow you can see the the waterfall here straight up ahead it looks silky white and the cool thing about this waterfall is that it has so much sulfur in it so i actually really already smell like sulfur because we were inside the the crater of Cabo Ijen. and uh i'm sure a lot of it are coming from here because it's water that's coming up from a volcanic source and uh, right now this looks amazing look at that. it's like silky and creamy white it looks amazing did you already have a swim in it before really man you want me to swim in that you're trying to kill me <laughs> <laughs> this is like basically battery water yeah this is what you have in your car like if, uh, if your car have acid in it like you open it that's the water that's the water yeah. <laughs> <laughs> story of how matt died yeah we, we're gonna i'm gonna have him try touching the water after those people leave because oh my I don't god because like, you know. he wants me to die no i don't want you to die it's not normal <laughs> you, 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 you i'm serious man you <laughs> you've been talking about it, but yeah I, I agree like this i'm serious there's something with the sound of this water it doesn't sound like normal water because it's not it's not but normal look at water. it like you would you would think it would be like so loud yeah but it's not that loud actually yeah it's like muted yeah it's like it's it want it, like it's on its way to become like a really a normal water but it's not like like it's not really loud <laughs> <laughs> like point to the camera there yeah that should sound so loud yeah because that's a lot of water coming yeah. through and it's not and that's why i said it's like it's a different kind of frequency like it's crazy yeah you know it's like a, it's a would feel like a cool place to meditate <laughs> basically yeah. as long as you don't touch or swallow or do anything with the water okay so that was pretty cool i guess we didn't have enough of a volcano in one day and uh, dude, I'm so freaking tired right now that I'm just gonna head back to Baniwangi and uh, gonna pass out. I'm gonna sleep for 12, 14, 16 hours, however long it takes. 
because tomorrow I'm going to keep heading west and explore more of Java, which I'm really, really excited about. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It has been a pleasure having you guys along on the journey. And make sure you guys subscribe as I will be posting a lot from my adventure in Java and other places in Indonesia. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.